Hey, what's up guys? I just finished installing my home CCTV, which is very cool. And I want to share with you the decisions I made, what are the materials that I used, and what I did during the installation. So jump in and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, first up guys, this is the output and I have three cameras. This is a four channel camera system. Now I wasn't able to add one because I'm low on budget. So later on, if I'm going to add one more, I can just go ahead and add it here. Now, if you notice, this monitor that I have here is an old one. So if you are trying to buy a CCTV package and you have an old monitor lying at home, you can opt not to include that one so that you can save some money. Anyway, it's just for viewing only. So as we continue with the other details of this home CCTV installation, let's do an unboxing with the NVR Dahawa, which is the network video recorder. And of course the CCTV that we are going to install. And of course the other accessories like the outdoor cable that I use, which I pulled outside very long, which is a weatherproof in all those kinds of things. So jump in and let's start with the NVR. The Hawa. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this one, right? You can see what's really inside. This is the recorder and I have some accessories inside. Okay, cool. Mouse, it comes with a mouse. Network cable, power adapter, power cable for Isara hard drive. So it has a HDMI out, VGA and mic out, mic in. We have uh, the power and then the network. So I ordered this one like four channels. So you should be able to add four cameras here. Uh, there are screws on the sides. I already removed the other, so this is the last screw. Try to check this one out inside. Now remember guys, that if you are buying a, um, a network or a DVR, uh, an NVR, it does not come with a hard drive. So you need to buy the hard drive. This doesn't have a hard drive, so um, extra old hard drive. I don't need to buy one, but always remember if you're buying an NVR, make sure to buy a hard drive because it doesn't come with a hard drive. But some of the packages, the, uh, the place there that it comes with a hard drive. So I'm going to mount it here. This is where it's supposed to be like that. So let me see. All in VRs doesn't have the hard drive pre-installed. So you need to place the hard drive by yourself. The next thing is, this is the SATA cable that comes with it. We plug it on the SATA port, easy plug like that. Then we plug it here, like that. There you go. Then of course the power cable, this one that goes here. Then comes here also like that. Okay, take note that this doesn't have a switch. Some other devices have the POE switch at the back, but this doesn't have one. Good for us, we have a POE switch, so no problem, right? So I'm just going to cover this one. Let's just make sure that we cover it properly with all these screws back in. Now, of course, after screwing that, we need to set up the NVR connected to the network. And as you can see, my network rack is piling up. So I need a monitor, add this one to the network, plug it and power it up. Oh, cables, my cables. So of course we need to do the initial configurations like password, date, it's very important because of the recording and all other things. Okay, so they have an app called DMSS and we are going to install DMSS like me, I'm opening. So I'll go here in next. How about this? All right, this guy, it detected one of the Amcrest CCTV that I have. Okay, so this is the Hawa, but it can detect the other um, CCTV. I think, hey, let's go next. Oh, oh. So this is recording already. That's cool. It's there. Uh, choosing a recorder uh, is important, right? So for me, I've already decided that I need four channel um, NVR. Now, the four channel means you can add four camera for monitoring like what I've shown you. Now, if you want 
more CCTV to be installed later on, you go for the next level because it goes by four camera system. We have eight, 16, 32. Deciding the location of the CCTV is very important. So before you're going to buy, you need to decide how many spots you're going to place camera, right? Or the CCTV. So for me, I've already counted two at the back, one at the front and one at the side. So that's four, but I did not install the fourth one. Uh, coming soon because I'm low on budget, right? Just make sure that you have the right count of channel the NVR is going to support, all right? We, we were able to set up the NVR, which is the Hawa, and we were able to add the Amcrest CCTV, that's a different brand, which is uh, compatible with the Hawa. And then right now, since I need more CCTVs, I got the four megapixel the Hawa Dome. Um, and I have uh, another one here uh, that we are going to add. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox. This one is unboxed already because it has been used um, a long time ago that I just found out. And this one, I just bought it. So I want to unbox it and then later on, uh, go and do it in real world, right? So jump in, uh, check this out. The Hawa 4 megapixel IP camera POE, IR Dome Network Camera. Um, Inside the box, you can actually see some manuals, stickers, and a guide if you are going to drill this one. Some Something you can stick so that you can easily uh, mount it. And then something that we can tighten up the screws and open up that. Of course, we also have this one here and set of screw. Basically, this is vandal proof. And uh, there's where you place the PoE. Yeah. You can use this one to unscrew these uh, pieces here. All right, so there you go. You need to remove this one so that you can drill this one. Um, you can you can screw this one, mount this one like that or sideways, depending on how you like it. And then after you screw that one, you have you can cover it with this one again. So that's it. You have some. Rubber, rubber fittings here that's going to seal the water. So this is basically waterproof if you have this one already. Yeah, because you need to remove this one if you want to adjust this one like, like, like this. You can turn this one like that. And you can also turn this one like this. So that you can adjust the angle, right? That's the arm crest right now here. So if I'm going to add one, it's simple. I need to lay out a very long wire going outside for the real deal, but this one, this is good enough for us to test. Okay, so there you go. And this is the cable. Okay, so I have the link out there already. Um, all I gotta do here is add, uh, press this button if this is uh, fully already uh, powered up. So I think this is booting up right now. So I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to add it here. I hope it's going to be detected. Searching, add. Can, can. Let's add it. Oops, it's gone again, search. Oh, there you go. Failed to connect to the network host. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> This is already added here. That's how uh, simple it is. It's the other way around. Let's twist that one. Like that. Focus there. Ah, there you go. Ah. So, of course, for us to make this one work outside, I'm going to uh, uh, use this outdoor cable. All right, so let's jump ahead and check this Cut6 outdoor cable that I got. It's 1,000 feet waterproof. Um, 1,000 feet is approximately 300 meters, so it's covered with this. Now, the only thing we can see here is try to check how tough this is. So you come close and let's check it out. Uh, let's check the jacket. So I'm just going to strip this one out so that we can see, right? So we're... So you see, we have first layer jacket here. I'll remove the black part. So this is the first cover. Basically, it's tough. Okay, so it's good enough to protect the cable. 
then here we still have the gray one which is more of a rubberish feel then there you go it's removed and here you have that um, um, we have the UTPs uh, the the UDP the copper are good then we have this one so it's really good so I'll just go ahead and remove this one so that's how good this cable is check the link on the description below guys all right let's go ahead pull this cable this is one of the hardest part you are going to do in a CCTV installation pulling the cable um, the distance here would be maybe this is 35 meters but the height is maybe 15 feet and another one there, another 15 feet out there. So in total, I might be totaling about 75 meters. Uh, I need to pull two cables, right? So here, this is the topmost part. I've already installed the CCTVs, which is really hard. Okay, I also pulled the cable. <laughs> so I'm gassing out right here. I'm looking at that part where I'm going to hang the cable. Okay, so I cannot show you every footage because it's really hard to video and uh, put into detail everything I'm doing. So right now I'm at the office. I already pulled the cable. I need to terminate this part so that um, we can start uh, connecting them. Now, I wasn't able to show you the, how I crimped it, but it's ready now. I'm going to hang this cable first here and then run back at the top of the mountain so that I can um, terminate also the cables out there. So I'll, I'll just make this one ready. By the time I'm done terminating at the other end where the CCTVs are connecting the CCTVs, then it's time to plug this um, terminated cable here. All right, back here guys, there you go. You can see that the cable is there tied up I just need to go up there and terminate it again. I mean, yeah, terminate it. Okay, so I need to terminate this one. So if you know how to do your networking, this would be um, one time uh, crimping. All right, I'll crimp the other one. There you go. My camera is good. It has the autofocus. Okay, so the next one is going to be next, but we don't need to show you again. It's done. It's time to plug it. So I'm going to use the uh, adapter so that it's going to be water sealed. I need to pull the cable, plug it like that, and then there you go. Okay, I cannot show you that one because it's really hard to hold the camera. I already placed both, uh, plugged the both CCTVs. Uh, go back to the room. Okay, there you go. It's time to plug. Okay, just make sure because this cable is so tough, so I need to bend it like what I've shown you on the video about the cable. Oh, there you go. We have the um, first one. We don't have the second one. Check this one out. It's not detecting. Oh, it's just kind of late. So we have it there. Ha, ha, ha. It's just a matter of like, you know, adjusting the angle for both cameras. So I need to go back again on top of the mountain so that I can fix it. Especially this one. It's like I want to get the flat surface. Okay, this is um, the hard part again. We need to remove the cover so that we can adjust the angle. And I'm holding a camera while unscrewing this one. Okay. Um, for us to see the angle, since they have the app, I can use my phone to connect through it. Then I can check the angle, twist this one. Like I can twist this one like that. So just a sample there. I cannot really show you everything, but you can see that. There you go. I got the uh, flat surface, so... All right, back here at the room where we set all the things that we need to set. Look at that. Beautiful. I can view the top of the mountain, whoever is there and whoever is passing on the corner of the road. So you need to have at least a basic understanding of networking as well. All right. So if you, if um, I cannot cover every detail of the installation because it's really hard. 
uh, doing it alone myself. So I cannot get um, a very detailed footage while I'm installing the CCTV. So it's more of like a highlight of what I really did. And of course, the things that I installed. Of course, my CCTV is working well for me. And if you try to think about installing yours, make sure that you can do it because it's a little bit, um, uh, you need help. You, it's better if you have someone with you to help you with, with other things because me climbing the post was one of the toughest things that I did during this installation. Uh, well, if you have any questions, guys, don't forget to uh, drop a comment down below. You can ask me anything about the CCTV and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. So I want to thank you for watching my video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video and of course, share it with everybody. See ya.